Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, this is your January 2023 prediction. I'm going to share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take a moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one, and welcome to your reading. This is your January 2023 predictions. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get into your reading. So with your card, you have chosen the card that holds the gorgeous green crystal glass stone. And what's wonderful about your choice is green, it represents growth, abundance, it represents a building, it also represents life. So as you know, as you go out into the world and you look around you, the whole world is filled with the color green. Green trees, grass, plants. So this is a wonderful choice for you. Now, let's see what card you do have. You have Magician's Sword, Confidence in Your Magic. I love this card coming out for you because this is definitely symbolizing that something is going to take place um, when it comes to something you're working on. Something creatively is going to take place for you. And it's based on how much confidence you have about it. Not even how much work you put into it, but your confidence, your faith that you have in your creative ventures. So let's get more specifics. Your 2023 predictions. What's taking place? You have here Black Kyanite set strong boundaries. So I can definitely see here that for January, there's definitely some boundaries that um, will be set by you. Um, maybe you're dealing with a person that you have been a little lax with and they have crossed your boundaries, pushed your buttons, triggered you in the past, and you said no more. In the month of January, you are shutting that ish all the way down. So you're setting very strong, healthy boundaries here. And this also represents that nine of wands energy. So this is about fire and creativity as well. So I do love to see the black kyanite crystal card showing up immediately after the magician's sword. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you January 2023? You have here the Prince of Cups. So with the Prince of Cups energy, this is about someone contacting you and wanting to connect with you emotionally. Cups energy, water sign energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces um, is in this person's top placement of their birth chart. Their sun, moon, or rising, the planet Venus, or that seventh house of relationships. This water energy could be in your birth chart as well as a confirmation here in this reading. But what's intriguing here is that this Prince of Cups, this Prince of Cups is coming into your life and offering you a an invite, an invitation to do something, to go somewhere, like a date. But this is not an ordinary date. This is a special occasion. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening for you for January 2023? Trinka 555. So with the Trinka 555, that number 555, synchronicity is a very powerful number. Um, manifesting money and income. So I can clearly see here that for the month of 
January, there's definitely going to be new money opportunities for you. You will be manifesting more money. Also with 555, it also signifies a romantic connection and partnership. So I do love how 555 did show up under the Prince of Cups card because Spirit just gave us that insight as well. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in the month of January? And you have here the Eight of Coins. Love it. And I also love how the Eight of Coins lays naturally under the Magician Swords card. And the Magician Swords is the first card that you were drawn to. So with the Eight of Coins laying naturally under the Magician Swords card, this is about mastering your craft. And Spirit did just give us the insight moments earlier that, yes, you are the magician's uh, sword. Like, you are the master of your craft. So, this is about you really enjoying what you're doing creatively in the month of January. And you are becoming better and better at it. And you are actually mastering it. And that energy that you're putting into your creative gifts and talents is turning into money so let's get more insight thank you spirit what's happening for you your predictions for january 2023 and you have here the 11th house the edge so there are 12 houses in astrology and with the 11th house represented here the edge this is about friendships. This is about group activity and creativity again. So lots of creativity going on for you in the month of January. It's about humanity and getting together. I do see here that you're planning to attend a festival in the spring. So you're going to do your planning here in the month of January. And also this Prince of Cups could be a part of this festival as well. Also, I am seeing that there is some sort of experimentation when it comes to your creative ventures, like you, you're wanting to try something new and Spirit is always encouraging you to follow your bliss and to try other things because when you try new things, it opens that door of impossibilities, okay? It opens that door, a limitless um, a prosperity and abundance for you. So this is about you being um, very experimental as well. And by you being experimental, it allows you to discover new things, to meet up with new people. So I do see a connection of community here for you in the month of January. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in the month of January? Your predictions. And you have here the four of wands. Look at that. So with the four of wands, there you go. Creativity and a union as well as freedom. So you're feeling more free, free flying. You are feeling as if you are unstoppable and you are. Um, the four of wands is about a creative connection with someone else where you are collaborating. And the 11th house is representing that energy as well. So I do love how the uh, Four of Wands lay naturally next to the 11th house. Thank you, Spirit, for that wonderful confirmation. The Four of Wands is fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy. And so those signs could be in the top placement of your birth chart or the person's birth chart that you will be connecting with creatively. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two, and welcome to your reading. This is your January 2023 predictions. And I am going to share with you everything that Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. 
Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you to the card holding the gorgeous teal blue crystal stone. What I love about your choice, this is a perfect choice for you because teal blue, it represents renewal, rebirth, rejuvenation. It's also about open communication and clarity of thought. So this is about you communicating um, uh, clearer with someone specific in the month of January. So let's see what card you do have associated with your glass choice. You have lost compass, getting back to integrity. So with the lost compass card and getting back to integrity, this is about you recognizing what's true for you and uh, aligning with your inner wants and needs and uh, placing certain boundaries, healthy boundaries around yourself so that you are not giving um, your energy, your time to someone that does not deserve it. So you're very aware here in the month of January of where you need to be when it comes to communicating with someone. And I feel like you're going to communicate this message um, of your boundaries and how you stand, how you see this person. You're going to um, express that to them. And Spirit just wants you to be aware that um, there is a lot of power um, for you when you express yourself with kindness and tact. So let's get more insight. What's happening for you in the month? Your January 2023 predictions. The Labradorite crystal card set the magic. So I can definitely see here there's a lot of unexpected things taking place. Something specific though, magical, that will happen for you with the Set the Magic Labradorite Crystal card showing up. It's unexpected, and I do want to pull um, a couple of more cards to get a clear vision on what this magical thing is that's taking place. What's happening? January 2023. Wow, you have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> of course, I love this coming out, especially immediately after the Labradorite Crystal. So with the Nine of Cups, this is definitely about wishes coming true for you. The Nine of Cups represents material abundance and good health for January 2023. So I can see that you have previously had your insight, your energy, your focus on leveling up and also balancing your mind, body, and spirit and taking care of your health. So spirit wants you to know that this energy is here for you for January. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's happening? Your January 2023 predictions. Prosperity. Yes. So with the prosperity card, this is a prosperous business with riches and success. Wow. For January 2023. So your business is glowing up, sweetie. So whatever you're working on, whatever your business is for you, stay faithful. It's just belief and movement. That's the message here that Spirit wants you to know. Belief and movement, because when you truly believe and you truly have faith, you have no issues with moving forward and taking actions on your goal. Spirit wants you to know there's definitely lots of prosperity um, with a prosperous business, with riches and success. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, I'm so happy for you, Group 2. Let's get more insight. What's happening your January 2023 predictions. I already pulled from that deck, so I want to pull from a different deck. Your January 2023 predictions. And you have here the 11th house, the edge. 
love the 11th house. There are 12 houses in astrology, in a birth chart. There are 12 houses. And with the 11th house showing up, the 11th house, it rules over the zodiac sign of Aquarius. It represents friends, um, groups, and luck. So this is wonderful because Spirit just gave us the insight with the prosperity card showing up. So in the 11th house represents luck as well, but this is luck with a community, a group of friends. You're going to have support from a group or a community. So if you do something online with like social media, that's considered a community, a group. Keep going. Also here, this is about friendship. So I do believe that um, there's going to be some communication um, based on like a friendship. There will also be a new friend entering into your life for the month of January. Someone that you will consider a friend that you may not recognize them as a friend at first as they enter um, in January, but um, you will consider this person a friend. Also, um, with you also, I feel like you're going to plan on a uh, going to a festival of some sort, maybe like the Coachella Fest or the Stage Cult or some festival that is yearly. Um, you're planning for that in the month of January and that's going to work out for you. I do also believe that there's going to be a collaboration that you're going to reach out and seek out to collaborate with other people. And you're seeking now to work with the people who have common goals and aspirations as yourself. And Spirit wants you to know that all is well. And the universe is definitely conspiring in your favor. 11 is very significant um, in your reading here. I feel like you've been seeing the number 111 or 1111 recently. And here's one of the reasons why. So the message of this reading is very clear and it is very correlated with the cards that do show up together. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Your January 2023 predictions. And you have here the Six of Wands. I love it. The Six of Wands here, fire sign, energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, representing victory, glory. And it represents you being recognized and awarded for your efforts, for something you have been doing. There's a group or a society of people that are looking at you and they're, they're seeing what you're doing. You may not think people are watching you, but they are. And, and for here with the Six of Wands, um, this is going to come into your attention that um, these people are looking at you and watching you in, in, in a way to recognize you. And also there's good news and success coming to you for January, 2023. Your reading is just so beautiful and accurate AF. I just, just thank you spirit for the wonderful confirmations here. Let's get more insight. So what's happening for you, your January, 2023 predictions. Thank you spirit. You have here the three of disc. So with the three of disc, that is earth energy. We got Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. In the sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships. But I do want to point out that Virgo could be in your 10th house of career and what you'll be known for as well, being that Several cards here did show up representing um, your career, especially the prosperity card, business with a prosperous business with riches and success. Here with the three of disc, I love the correlation between the three of disc and the 11th house because we talked about how you're going to connect with a group of friends. And this three of disc card does show this here where you'll be connecting with like-minded people, people who share common goals as you. There is going to be a friendship, a, you know, circle that is going to form for the month of January and a celebration as well. 
So group two, wow, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three, and welcome to your reading. This is your January 2023 predictions, and I will share with you everything that Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can see that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the card holding the gold crystal glass stone. This is a wonderful choice for you because the color gold, it represents generosity and compassion as well as being synonymous with divinity and power in many spiritual settings. So this is a great choice for you. Let's see what card you do have as well. And you have here watchers, transpersonal. With this being your first card, this is really about you observing something and a situation in January that is going to change your perspective and the way that you view yourself and the outside world because you've been doing a lot of soul searching and self-reflecting lately. So for January, the power of being a watcher is very significant with having whatever it is that your heart truly desires because it's truly a higher, it's a higher self connection that is the most powerful when you are self reflective. And so this is really about you taking your power of what you know about yourself and then sharing it with others. But let's get more specific detail. Your January 2023 predictions. And you have here the moon. Wow. The moon card showing up is very intriguing and just very inspiring for me in your reading. Coming out back to back after the first card because you see the moon represents your intuition. It represents self-reflection. It represents, you know... Um, your shadow side as well, and dreams. So with the moon showing up, this is a wonderful confirmation. Thank you, spirit. The moon also rules over the sign of cancer. So with that zodiac sign, that could be in your sun, moon, or rising, your seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. It could also be prominent in the birth chart of someone that you have been just sitting back and watching this person rather than reacting. I feel like there is a relationship dynamic that you have been involved in where there was a lot of back and forth and maybe like you have been reacting to this person quite a lot and it hasn't paid off for you. It, it's, it's just like it's been frustrating and confusing before the month of January, you are taking your power back and you are trusting your intuition. You recognize the shadow side of this person and you are really understanding, you know, who you are, which is most important and your relationship to them. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in the month of January? Felicia. Felicius, Felicius, Felix, Felicius, a power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. 
see, Spirit just gave us this insight moments earlier on how because you are the watcher, that that energy of uh, sitting back and observing, taking note of you and what you want, what you deserve, first and foremost, it's giving you this power to create lucky events in your life, not only for the month of January, but for your entire life because you know your value, you know your self-worth, you know the things that you deserve and desire, the people that you need to connect with. You know that by assessing your own needs and wants. So this is wonderful. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening for you in the month of January? Your January 2023 predictions. Cancer, oh my goodness. Look how Cancer just showed up. And so I'm just going to lay it right here because the moon rules over the sign of Cancer. Look at this very strong confirmation immediately in your reading. Thank you, Spirit. So with Cancer showing up, this is about your feelings. This is about your emotions. This is about um, are you feeling compassion rather than anger for a situation. And this is about you feeling, this is about your intuition as well. This is about you birthing a new you and aligning with your receptive nature. Cancer represents lunar, the moon. Thank you, spirit. Wow. It's about you being more introverted in the month of January. And really, you know, I feel like you're you're more family oriented and you're connecting with that side of the family that connects with you, that nourishes your soul and you theirs, that receptive family energy. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Your January 2023 predictions. And you have here the Eight of Wands. Look at you there. Fiery in January. You're not Eight of Wands. I'm sorry. That is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. And we spoke about this moments earlier. This is about keeping and maintaining healthy boundaries. So Spirit gave us this insight. You're setting boundaries. You're maintaining them in a healthy way too. You're not allowing people to drain you, upset you, because you are fully aware, aware that if they can control how you feel, then they own you. Because if they can control your emotions, they can control your outlook on life, your outlook on your future, your 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 connection with your inner source if you allow them to control your emotions. But see, you have that insight now. And so you took your power back by being the watcher rather than the one that reacts. And this is so powerful. And so this is what's leading you to this Felix Felicius, a powerful symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. That's what's allowing your life to change, to gain more abundance and prosperity surrounding things that represent who you are. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in January 2023? Turquoise, prioritize your health. Look at this reading with Spirit is just showing up and giving a clear sign here about your mind, your body, and your spirit and how you have committed to pri prioritizing your health, to taking care of you first, to nurturing your spirit, your soul, and taking media that encourages you, inspires you, Surrounding yourself with people that appreciate you and love you and not just allowing yourself to be somewhere 
where you feel obligated. Spirit wants you to know that that is exactly how you're supposed to live. You're supposed to prioritize your health. And that means to prioritize yourself, make yourself first and everything else will fall into place. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Your January 2023 predictions. And you have here the Prince of Cups with the Prince of Cups. This is a love connection. This is about a emotional connection where you're going to connect with someone emotionally on an emotional level. And it's going to be on a romantic frequency. I feel like you're going to connect with this person online and it's going to be genuine. Um, I don't feel like it's a dating site though. You may already know this person and may have been talking to them in the past, but maybe you guys are going to talk on a deeper level with this Prince of Cups. I do feel like this person is going to offer you an invitation on a date to go somewhere with them, maybe to like see a, a movie as well and a dinner date where you guys can talk. I feel like this person that you're going to connect with is very warm-hearted, friendly, understanding, you know, and has been through, you know, a previous relationship and breakup. Not recent, but previous. I feel like their last relationship was well over um, a couple of years ago. So this person is taking his time as well. And he will take his time when asking you out. But this is a very warm, friendly, charming individual. This cup's energy is about emotion. It's about water energy. So I do love the correlation between the Prince of Cups, the Cancer, and the Moon card showing up here together. Thank you, Spirit. The Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Those signs could be in the top placement of your birth chart as well as this Prince of Cups um, birth chart. But nevertheless, this is a reading about your emotions and you taking charge of your own feelings, your own outcome, your own fortune and luck here in your life, your own connections and relationships. Self-care is top priority for you in the month of January. And with that self-care, that is how everything else wonderful is taking place. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.